Hey, hey, we're the monkeys. What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Keith's Fantasy Club, King Gorilla! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we have a very nice illustration of King Gorilla. His name is King Gorilla. On this side of the box, we just have things that I can't read. On this side of the box, we have King Gorilla in his jet mode. He converts from Robot Warrior to Cyber Gorilla to Fighter Jet. And back again on the top. Heavy metal on the bottom. Heavy metal on the back of the box. We have an image of King Gorilla in his Gorilla mode, as well as his Headmaster. A rundown of everything that is in the box. And you also have a bio right there if you want to read it. And that's basically it for the packaging. Also included in the package is the collector's card with the same image of King Gorilla and on the back you have his tech specs if that interests you hooray for cards and another thing that is included in the package is a little poster here of King Gorilla in his robots jets and gorilla mode and his headmaster there so there you go hooray for posters so moving right along here we have King Gorilla which is KFC's take on a masterpiece ape face and it's a decent figure it's not amazing but it's a decent figure in my opinion so here he is in his jet mode and you can see it's a very uh very wide jet mode and a very flat jet mode also but very indicative of the g1 toy but uh still the jet mode is pretty cool we're getting close here so you can take a look at the details you can see the nice kind of smoky dented transclearance windshield there for the cockpit and you got your silvers and your purples and your yellows and your reds nice detailing there on the wings going down the body here you got some gold detailing there along with some uh, gunmetal gray in these sections here you got the gorilla feet just kind of hanging out back there <laughs> again very reminiscent of the g1 toy yeah we have a profile shot and the bottom right there as you can see he does have landing gears right there which actually do roll quite smoothly you can actually roll them around which is nice and yeah so there you have that and for a comparison here it is with the masterpiece seeker mold just so you can get a sense here of how he scales in his jet mode so there you have that uh, here he is with perfect effects Beast Gorira just so you can see how they scale with one another another robot that turns into both a jet and a monkey so <laughs> there you have that and here he is with the Titans Return ape face <laughs> Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's so cute. Look at that. No. <laughs> so, yeah, that's. And here it is with G1 Ape Face because he's pressure. Ape facing pressure. Ooh. So, there you have that. So, now let's run through the accessories. Uh, he does include two guns. Right here, which are done in red with some gunmetal gray in here. This section right here, the barrel is done in a transclearance plastic, the same smoky plastic that the uh, cockpit is done in. And they do have a light up feature. You just push the button and yay, you get a nice bright red LED that goes off in there. Uh, the batteries are not included. You will have to buy the batteries yourself. Uh, these take three LR626 batteries. Each one takes three batteries a piece. So you will have to get those yourself, but a nice light up effect there and you get two of these guns and you have a couple spots you can plug the guns into you have these ports right back here and if you want to you can plug those guns right back there if you wish or you can take them and plug them into these ports right here on the sides which is where I prefer to store them and they just sit right under the wings like that so you can have that going on 
I prefer that method of storage. I think that looks a lot better. But as always, your toy, display it however you wish. I do also get some effects parts here. And some little flamey, flamey parts here. That's transparent plastic. And these just plug in right back here into these ports. You just plug that in and plug that in. And it looks like he's whooshing at the speed of sound. Whoosh. So you got that going on. And also included is a stand which is just made up of two pieces of transparent plastic. It has the, uh, the Keith's Fantasy Club logo etched in there. You just plug it together and boom, you have a stand. And it just works via the slot right there and the tab right there. You just take it, plug it in, and voila. He's flying! He's flying! Yay! To get that going on. And when you have it configured this way, uh, you can see he is angled up a bit. If you plug the stand in the other way, you turn it around, it will actually level him off and have him sit straighter. So you have an option there for how you want to display him in jet mode if you choose to display him in jet mode. So you got that going on right to that. So there you have that. And of course, he does include his headmaster. They are calling him uh, Kongor, I believe. He's a pretty nice little robot. Um, he does have light piped eyes, which eh, they work oh, okay, I guess. You can see he's got some nice silver there on his face. He's got a spot there for Decepticon sticker, which is always appreciated and very considerate. And just done in gray and black and purple. And he has two faces back there. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, they have that. Um, articulation wise, the head is on a swivel, so you can just do a full 360. The shoulders are on a ball joint, so you can go that far up, all the way up. You can do a full 360, but you have to kind of swing the arm around the head there. Uh, you do have an elbow joint with a little under 9 degrees of bend. You have outward movement as well. The hips are on a ball joint, so you can move like forward that far, back, that's pretty much it. Outward, that's it. Uh, knee joints, that's all the bend you're going to get there. Bends more this way for transformation. And nothing at the feet. So there you go. Um, for comparison, here it is with the Titans Return version. And here it is with the G1 version of, uh, what was his name? Spasma, I believe is his actual name. So, uh, yeah, I have a lot. And he does have magnets on the bottoms of his feet because there are these metal plates on either side right here. And you can just, boop, stick them on right there, and he holds on. So there you go. He can be a daredevil if he wants to. <laughs> so you got that going on. Uh, you can also place him in the cockpit, and the cockpit does have its own gimmick here. When you open up the cockpit... A switch gets flicked, and you have some nice bright LEDs in there, blue LEDs that go off and lights up that whole console, which is a pretty neat effect. And how that works is you can see the switch is right here, so when you close it up, the light will stay on, so you do have to manually kind of turn that back off. And you can see there's this little, this little bit right back here that when you open up the cockpit, it just pushes, you know, just slides the button over and turns that on. So... It's a nice effect. Um, again, the batteries are not included for this either. Uh, this requires a CR2025 battery. So again, that is something you will have to buy yourself. But still, a neat little effect if you want to make use of it. And you take Congor here, get him into a seated position. You do want to actually uh, remove the console here to get him in there. So you just take him and you tuck him in. Just put that console back where it was. Like that, like that, you turn that back on if you want to, there you go, you can sit in there, flying the jet, whoosh, so, there you go, <laughs> so you got that going on, so, let's get down to transformation, shall we, let's, so let's get Congor out of here, put this back in, turn that off, actually you want to Close that up and then turn it off, otherwise you won't be able to close it. So we got that done. And now we will remove the guns. 
Put those off to the side, remove the guns, put that off to the side, and now we can get down to Gorilla Mode! Oh, also you want to remove the uh, the effects parts here. We don't need these anymore. Um, unfortunately, it would have been so cool if you could plug these into the gun, but no, they don't. They don't. They don't fit. That would have been cool for a little blast effect, but oh well. It is what it is. But alrighty, so we got that done. So now we can get down to transformations. So the first thing you want to do is you want to remove this section right here. It just pegs in. It can be a little bit hard to get out, but there you go. Just unplug that. Put that off to the side. What parts forming? Shh, it's okay. It's okay. And come to the underside here. Flip down the landing gears. Flip down the landing gears. These back ones are very stiff. They lock in quite securely into place. So now that we've got all that done, we can get going. So first thing you want to do, first thing I need to do is I need to raise the camera up so I have room to operate. Alrighty. So. Just take the wing sections here, untab them, bring them out, come to the back here. You have these little locking tabs that you want to undo right here and just fold that up onto that, fold that up. And that's what's holding all this together. So just take all this and just undo that. And now you want to come to these sections right here you want to just kind of angle them up actually first what you want to do is you want to unpeg these sections here you see that plugs in right there and swing that up like that because that will give you the clearance you need for this step which is to take these sections here and you just kind of want to angle them up a bit and that helps you get these sections untabbed here right there just tab in right there take that bring that out just kind of bring that up and undo that bring that out and there we go so we're going we're going places we're going places here people so we're going places so once you have that done just bring this all the way down you can rotate these back to get them out of the way and you want to take this section here and rotate it 180 like that once you do that take these panels just open them up like so and now we're going to work on this right here. So this section right here of the nose cone, you just want to take this and bring this up. It's on a couple hinges here. So you just want to extend this all up like that. And what you're going to do with the arms, the arms just untab from the sides here. And you're going to take them, swing them around like this. You want to orient the elbow joint so it's facing this way. And you want to then rotate the forearm section so that tab is now facing down. So you do that with the other side. Just swing them around. Rotate that around. Rotate that around. And now you want to take this section here and bring this all the way up like that. And at this point now, you want to collapse the waist. Not all the way. There is a, there is a stopping point right there. You hear that click. That's a stopping point. So that's where you want to leave the waist. So once you do that, everything is in position back here. So now the forearms, these tabs will go into these slots right here. So just line everything up. And this can be a bit of a pain in the in, in, in the butt. In the butt. <laughs> I almost said patoot. I don't know why. <laughs> I've been watching P.O. too much because he says patoot. It's a pain in the patoot. The pain in the butt, patoot, whatever you want to call your posterior, hey, it's up to you. But anyway, line that up and tab that side in and tab that side in. Come on, man. Come on, man. Work with me. There you go. Tab that in. Push that in like that. And that piece just stays right there like that. And there you go. So that's how you want all that oriented right there. So once you have that done, you have a little post in here that you just want to flip out right there. And if this is too hard getting out, there's a little screw right there. You just loosen that and that loosens that right up. So flip that out, flip that out. And what you're going to do with these sections here is you want to rotate it and then swing it in at this hinge right here. Just swing the whole hinge in like that. And this will plug in right there. Let's take that, line that up, 
and that will plug in right there. This red panel, you want to leave that down for now. Then same thing on the other side, just rotate that, swing that in like that, and that will peg in right there, like that. Make sure that panel stays down. And now these sections right here, you just swing them around and they will land right there, like so. And at this point, just kind of want to bring the arm up so you can see what you're doing. That post will go into that port right there and that will lock that in place. So do the same thing on the other side, just swing that around and just bring that in. Wait, oops, that was in the way. There we go. Bring that up, and that will peg in right there, and lock all that in place. These sections right here with the legs, you just shift those up like that. Bring little feet down, and the feet do have little heel spurs you can flip out. Like most of the paint has chipped off of this one, as you can see. <laughs> so, yes, flip that out. And he's got his little gorilla legs. Try to get them balanced here. So, there you go. All right, so now we're at the home stretch. So, what you want to do with the arms here is you want to open up these panels right here. Just grab a hold of some fingers if you can. This can be a little hard to get the hands out. And you do want to be careful with the fingers because they're on very thin posts and you don't want to break them, but just kind of. Grab a hold of the hand here and just try to pull this up. Make sure nothing gets caught up in here. Would have been nice if this panel could have opened up wider, but just make sure you have the clearance there. So you get an arm out, extend it out, and you close this up and this will just fold over like that. And then this will come over, that will come down. And you have one gorilla arm all done. Second vest, just like the fast, open that up. Fish out some fingers here, get a handhold of his hand, and again, make sure you have the clearance here, especially with that thumb. Let's flip that out, extend that, close that up, and fold that wing all up like that. And one more thing you want to do here with the backpack is you want to take these panels here, flip them open, and bring all this down. Bring those down too. You can flip down the landing gear and that just kind of squares off the backpack there. And there you go. So now we have a gorilla without a head. He needs a head. Where is his head? Here is his head. So you just take Congor and you make sure his legs are tabbed together. And you just fold him in half. You do have little tabs here that are going to go into little slots right there. So just line everything up like that. And you just plug the head into this panel right here. It is quite hard to get this uh, plugged in. So what I do is I open up this panel here. It just makes life a little easier because you can kind of push from the back here. And there you go. You can just tab that back in like that. And you can angle the head back there on that panel. And there is King Gorilla in his gorilla mode. And it's a pretty good gorilla mode. I will say, I do like his gorilla mode. I dig it. I can work with that. I can work with that. So let's get in close here. Oh, that face. Oh, look at that face. <laughs> Nicely done in purple and black. You got some nice red there for the eyes. You can open his mouth. You can see the teeth are painted. That nice gumball gray. He's even got some like cannons in his mouth. It's pretty cool. And overall, like I said, you know, the gorilla mode is, is you know, pretty cool. I dig it. I can work with that. I can work with that. Got a nice silver here on the legs. You also have some of that gunmetal gray and gold detailing in there as well, which looks quite nice. And you know, he's got kind of a, a chunky backpack going on there, but considering that he is a triple changer, hey, it, I think it pretty much works the way it's supposed to. Now for articulation in gorilla mode, uh, the head, to bring it up, the head can swivel again you can tilt it back on this hinge right there the panels on a hinge again the mouth can open and close the arms come do a full 360 they can go in and out you have a ratcheted elbow joint there 
with a good range of movement. And you also have a hinge right here that can go up and down. The hand itself can go up and down as well. Uh, the fingers are articulated. You got the thumb on a ball joint at the base, as well as a hinge here and a hinge here, and all the fingers on a ball joint at the base and two hinges on each finger. Uh, as far as the legs go, again, nice ratchets, can go forward that far, back that far. You get one click of outward movements. You got a tight knee bend right there, that's as far as it's gonna go. I can bend both ways if you want to. And the foot, again on a ratchet joint, that can go both ways. You also do get ankle tilt. And his toes are on a hinge right here. I can move like that. And the hinge I can move there. And all these toes are just two pieces. This is one solid piece, this is one solid piece. And you just have that hinge right there and a hinge at the base. And the heel spur can move downward if that serves any purpose for you. So yeah, pretty decent monkey mode, I think anyway. Let's get him situated here. You get situated, monkey man. There you go. So now for comparison, here he is with the Titans Return version of Ape Face. There you go. He's so wee. Oh, look at him. Look at him. Like a little baby. Like a little, little baby. Yeah, that's. Uh, here he is with Masterpiece Optimus Primal, just because. So you can see how they look together. Here he is with Beast Gorira in his monkey mode. Hey. So you can see how they look together. So there you have that. And here he is with G1 Ape Face because he's pressure. They're both really weird looking apes, but they're so pressure. So, there you go. Now, you can store his accessories in gorilla mode. You can store all this on him. And what you do here is you take these fins and you angle them back. And they will reveal these ports right here. And you just take the guns and you plug them in on either side. Like that. And you just take this and you plug this into the port right up here. Like so, and you can have all of that stored in his gorilla mode if you want to. And you can have these little fins here facing up, you can kind of fold them down, do what you want with them. There you go, he's a gorilla with guns. Hooray for gorillas with guns! So, you got that going on, and yeah, decent gorilla mode. So, there you go. So, let's get down to robot mode. So let's just remove. All this from his back. We must remove the head here, which this is quite tight. There we go. Remove that. And we're left with a headless body to work with now. So, what you want to do is basically just uh, undo everything we did, all the hard work we did. Just gotta undo it all. Undo it all. So, just open this panel back up. And you just want to take the arm here and just fold that back in. Like that, again, be very careful with the fingers and just tuck all that right back in like that. Again, make sure that thumb stays nice and tucked in. Close that back up, fold that back up. There you go. And just do the same thing on the other side here. Just open all that up and get, get, get out of the way. And just fold all this back up. Again, be careful with the fingers. Get that all in there. Close it back up. There you go. So now you want to undo these sections right here. Undo that. And undo that. I'm just holding quite securely. Undo that. And we can take all this and just swing these sections up. Swing these sections up. You want to unpeg what will be his robot mode legs. Just unpeg those, bring those out to the side. You can take these little posts, just flip those back in. Come here and 
just untab the arms like that. This section right here, you can flip back up. Put these panels back in, flip that back around, bring these up. And you got that going on. So now what you're going to do here is you're going to, again, get all this out of the way. Because now we have to rotate this around again. Like that. And then you're going to take this section right here. So it just tabs in, slots on either side. So just collapse that. Bring these sections in like that. And you're going to take this section here, bring that out, and then bring these two sections together. And that will just tab in right there to form the crotch. And there you go. The legs, you just straighten them out, extend, make sure that panel stays back. And the legs do have a, uh, a locking point right here for the slider, so if you want to go back into monkey mode or jet mode, you just have to hold this button down and that will allow you to slide the leg back up. So you have a nice locking point there. So once you do that, flip out the toe, flip out the heel, and then you got a leg all done. Second verse, just like the first, just rotate the leg around, extend, again, make sure that panel stays back, flip out the toe, flip out the heel, and you got his legs all done. So now we can just take this whole upper body here and just collapse that the rest of the way down. You want to straighten these sections out right here and then just take the arms, swing them around and they will tab right in there. Tab that there, bring the arm down, open up this panel, flip out the fist, close that back up, uh, orient the elbow properly again and just rotate the forearm. You can have the forearms however you want. You can leave this pointed up or leave that out to the side. Totally up to you. The instructions and the pictures have them like either way. So there you have an arm done. Come to this side. And you just swing that around. Tab that in. Like that. Swing that elbow around. Rotate that. Open. Flip out the hand. Close that up, orient everything properly, there you go. Now, as far as his monkey legs go, just bring them down, fill up the heel spur, and just collapse the feet down like that. Bring the toe in, there you go. Take the other side, bring that down, bring the heel spur up, bring this down as far as it'll go. Just curl those toes up like that, and there you have that. Now for the backpack section here, you're just going to take all this, this is going to collapse inward like that, and you have, oops, it's like, <laughs> bumps the camera, <laughs> you have tabs right here, which will go into slots right here, and this tab right here will go into that slot right there, so just line all that up, and just push that in like that, just take this nose cone section here, just bring that down flush against the back like that. These sections here, just bring that down and then just swing it around so it sits like that. Bring that up like that. And there we have a body without a head. He needs a head. Where's his head? Here's his head. Just turn it around. Robots. And that will just plug in. But before we plug in the head, we're going to open up his chest panel here because he does have the G1 gimmick, which is pretty cool. He's got the spud strength. He's got the spud strength. Oh yeah. So when we plug the head in, whoop, you get his spud strength. I love that. <laughs> so close that up. And there, oops, hey, <clears throat> arm came out there. But there you have King Gorilla, AKA Ape Face in his robot mode. It looks pretty cool, if I do say so myself, and I do. And as you can see, he has a lot of backpack. I mean, there's a lot of backpack going on here, but he has nice big heel spurs, and he actually is very, very stable. Even with all this backpack, he is quite, quite stable, which is nice. You know, he kind of, he wants to leave, oh, his head just popped right off. Hey, there you go. I guess I didn't have it locked in all the way. There you go. You can see, like, he doesn't really lean back. He has, like, like a very minute lean, but he, he's really, you know, 
You can give him a little smack in there. He's not just going to fall over. You have to give him a good smack to actually knock him backwards. So he's actually pretty stable, even with all that backpack. So let's get in close here. Not on his chest, but on that face. There we have the face. Done in a nice purple with the silver with the red eyes. You get some red and yellow detailing there. Across here is a belly. You get some red there on the nose, some yellow on the toes. You get some of that gunmetal gray right there. And again, a lot of backpack going on. A lot of backpack. But he actually wears it quite well. Now, articulation-wise, the head can rotate. You can give him a gorilla face if you want to. Hey, why not? Just be full-on full on gorilla man if you want to. But that can do a full 360. Arms uh, could do a full 360, but that backpack totally gets in the way. So that's pretty much all the range of movement you're going to get there. Arms can go all the way out and up on a nice ratchet. You do have a... Bicep swivel, you do have a double jointed elbow, it gives you a little over 90 degrees of bend there. You also do have a swivel at the forearm, you do have a wrist swivel, the hands are fully articulated. The thumb is on a ball joint at the base, you got a hinge there, a hinge there, and each finger is on a ball joint at the base as well as a hinge there and a hinge there. So you have nice full articulation there with the fingers. Um, you do. Why, why is his head popping off so much now? You keep, you hold on to your head, man. Jeez. You'd lose your head if it wasn't attached. And it's not, anyway. He does have a ratcheted waist swivel. Uh, these skirt panels can move out of the way to accommodate the leg movement. Legs can move forward that far, but only that far outward. You can do the full splits. You do have a thigh swivel. You do have a double jointed knee, so you get a nice full range of movement there. And the feet can move up very slightly, can move down a little bit more, and you do get some ankle tilt there. You also do have, due to transformation, you do have a toe joint there as well as a heel joint. If that serves any purpose for you. So there you go. And he can store his weapons just like he did in gorilla mode. If you just leave everything in this configuration, you can just take this, raise up the section. There's a port right there. You can just take all this, just plug that on, and this will just sit over that. And you can have all that stored on his back in robot mode if you wish, or have the guns, you know, pointed down, however you want to do it. So you can store all of that on him if you wish. But of course him being a warrior, I want him wielding his weapons. Now you can take this section right here, and you can take this and plug this on to his forearm if you want to. I have that angled however you want. It will plug on to his shoulder as well. There is a port right there. So you can plug it on like that if you want to. Why does your head keep popping off? It was not doing this before, but now his head just wants to keep popping off. What is wrong with you, man? Jeez, jeez. Anyway, you can do that if you want to, but I like to kind of have it like that. It's like a big shield. And for his guns, you just flip down this handle right here, and it's the typical tab in the palm method of weapon holding. And it works, kinda. Um, I mean, he will hold on to him, like the new tab in, there is friction there, but the tab is pretty small, so while he can hold on to the guns just fine, it doesn't take much to just pop them right out of his hand. Um, that's something that could have been tweaked. All right, he can hold them, just not too well. It doesn't take much to knock those out of his hand. Sometimes just moving, posing his arms, so the guns will just kind of fall out. Well, give him this other gun here. Well, wrap his fingers around it. And oh, there you go. There he is. Wielding his. <laughs> see what I mean? <laughs> see what I mean? Do you see? Do you see now? 
Do you get it? Do you get it now? I hope you do. <laughs> but there he is, holding his weapons. Like I said, he doesn't hold them that securely, which is unfortunate, but he can hold them. So, there you have that. There you go, and now for comparison! Here he is with the Titan's Return version. The Titan Master is his robot mode, so there you go. That's how they look together. <laughs> so they have that. Uh, just because, here he is with Masterpiece Optimus Primal. Let's see how they look together. Here he is with the Beast Gorira. So you can see how they look together. The two jet robot monkeys. Which is way more exciting than a puppy monkey baby. If you've seen that commercial, you know what I'm talking about. And here he is with Masterpiece Megatron. So you can see how they look together. And here he is with G1 Ape Face because he's precious. Ape facing pressures. You have that. Now one more accessory that is included for robot mode is an alternate set of hands. And uh, these are the same color as his forms, as you can see. So it's a little bit more reminiscent of the G1 toy. So the hands match the forms. So if you want to swap them out, you can do so. Uh, the hands do come completely disassembled. You will have to assemble the hands knuckle by knuckle, joint by joint, um, which is a bit of a project, but you know, it is doable. Just make sure you look at these hands for reference when you're putting these hands together. But yeah, and you also get a handy dandy screwdriver to help you install the new hands, which is very considerate, and I always appreciate that. But yeah, you do have the choice of having the silver hands, which match the forms, or the purple hands. Totally up to you. As always, your toy displayed however you wish. So, you have that as well. And there you go. That's pretty much it for King Gorilla. Um, he's a decent figure. Um, you know, he's not, he's not a great figure. But, you know, he's decent. I do have my, my nitpicks. Um, I, I do wish the guns had been a bit more securely and they didn't pop out so easily. Um, the head, for some reason, is really liking to just kind of pop off. But, you know, so far it's staying on now. I hope that's not a case of, over time, that's going to loosen up and it's going to be impossible to keep his head on. I hope that's not the case with this. Um, the backpack, you do have a little bit of, you know, uh, options as far as what you want to do with the backpack. You can leave them in this configuration if you want. Or if you want, you can actually bring these armatures up and swing this around and you can have it sitting like that if you want to totally up to you again you know totally display it however you wish so you do have some options for what you want to do with the backpack as well as again again the, the box art and the instructions have them pictured in both configurations so it's pretty much up to you what you want to do with the backpack there me i like to leave them down like this that's just me and again the gun popped off because he doesn't hold on to them that well but um yeah like I said, he's he's decent. He's not great, but he's he's decent enough. Uh, definitely, definitely some uh, some room for improvement here. But there you go. So if you would like this or any of Keith's Fantasy Club's other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so check that out. You can also check out my third-party Transformers playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M-Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all the good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Keith's Fantasy Club King Gorilla, and this is M-Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, palm in your face! Alright, Ape Face, I have a mission for you, and it requires only three simple steps. Step one, destroy the Autobots. Step two, destroy the Autobots. Step three, now this is the most important one, so pay attention. Destroy the Autobots. I can do that, but what's in it for me? Why, all the bananas you can eat. And there's a jungle gym out back with your name written all over it. Lots of room for swinging and flinging poo. Hmm, you drive a very hard bargain. I accept your terms. I had a feeling you would.